Hi everyone, it's Mike Fenwick here again from RedShark Digital. In this video, we're continuing our series on accessibility principles by talking about the importance of using correct markup on your content. Markup is the code that structures your content, and it's important to use the right tags and attributes to ensure that your content is accessible and easy to understand. One of the most important elements of markup are headings, which are tags given to text to define its style and purpose. Headings also establish the hierarchy of the content on a page and help readers understand the order of the content better. Screen readers also use the heading tags to read content so that people with low vision can get an overview of the page by reading each heading in a hierarchical flow. It's important to use proper structural elements when you develop a website or app. HTML elements communicate to the browser what kind of content they contain and how the browser should render or treat that content. The components and structure of a page are what create an accessibility tree, which is what powers screen readers and helps people who are blind listen to a page. Not using markup correctly can seriously affect accessibility. Don't use HTML tags just for style effects. Use them to convey the meaning and structure of your content. Screen readers navigate web pages by heading structure, so true headers, not just text that is styled big and bold. That's it for this video on the importance of using correct markup on your content. In the next video of our series, we'll be talking about supporting keyboard navigation. Keyboard navigation is an important accessibility feature that allows people to use a website or app without a mouse or other pointing device. This is especially important for people with mobility impairments or other disabilities that make it difficult to use a mouse. We'll be sharing some tips and techniques that you can use to make sure that your website or app is easy to use with just a keyboard, and we'll cover some of the common pitfalls to avoid. So make sure to stay tuned for the next video, and in the meantime, don't forget to consider how you're using markup to structure and organize your content. Thanks for watching.